I'm here with Crystal Wick, and Crystal is going to show us a technology-inspired necklace. Yes, I am, Katie. This is a beautiful piece. I love the way that you took this industrial idea and kind of exploded it. Exactly. <laughs> I call it timeless mm -hmm. because time is, um, you know, of the essence, mm -hmm. and it's impossible. We don't have enough of it, so I thought I would do something kind of industrial with time mm -hmm. pieces mm -hmm. to remind me of how important it is. Mm -hmm. So the piece over here I have is all these lovely little watch parts mm -hmm. and texture, lots of texture and bumpy mm -hmm. and 3D. It's really And it has really that fun. mixed metal look, too. Yeah, I love the mixed metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of industrial-ish. So how do we get started? Well, normally we start with these lovely pieces that have chambers that have kind of, you know, they're for resin mm -hmm. to put beads in, that sort of thing, or mm -hmm. pictures, for mm -hmm. example. I use that for, as a base. Okay. So it's more of a base than it mm -hmm. is actually a picture frame. So rather than filling each individual channel, you're using those kind of to grab the resin and stuff from behind. Exactly. It's okay. like the platform. So mm -hmm. you build the platform and then you put mm -hmm. the pretty things on the top. All right. So uh, what I did is I take the piece mm -hmm. and I put the wire through the holes. So the holes go all the way through mm -hmm. like that. So you just pass it all the way through. I pass it all the way through mm -hmm. and then I fill the chambers halfway with inexpensive seed beads of any mm -hmm. color because they'll be covered up. Remember, this is going to be your platform that you're putting things on top of. Okay. So you're trying to take up space. I add some resin mm -hmm. and then cure it. And that cures the wire in place. So now the wire is solidly in place. Mm -hmm. And also you have a platform here to put things on top of. Okay, so do you allow this to cure yes. before you add? Oh, okay. Yep. I cure it once. So now it's already mm -hmm. been cured one time. And then I'm going to do another step and then cure oh, it again. So there'll okay. be two curings for each piece. Okay. And you cure according to manufacturer's directions. Mm -hmm. If it's UV, you use the UV light. If it's over time, you let mm -hmm. it sit and that sort of thing. All right. So what's nice is these little baby watch parts, I think they're just adorable. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny. I like to think they're from a cuckoo clock. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure that's true, but they're just so tiny. I just couldn't resist. And mm -hmm. then I just started adding them with tweezers. Mm -hmm. You know, very, this is not a very scientific, methodical pattern. Okay. It's very haphazard, and I eyeball it. And I just start adding these pieces. Mm -hmm. And then, again, when I have it looking how I'd like it to mm -hmm. look finished, I add little drops of resin throughout the pieces. Okay, so as you're adding, mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to add a few. Is that okay? Please do. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, it's hard not so, to, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> so when you're adding them on here, yes, is it important that everything is on top of the um, channel component or can things be hanging over? No, things can be hanging over the side. What's the most okay. important is that a tad of resin touches each piece to the channel so that when you cure it, mm -hmm. it solidifies. Mm. So then that becomes a whole piece, a whole unit that the pieces won't get be loose or falling off. Okay, so and so once I've added this, my pieces and I have it the way I look, is that when I go back and dab mm -hmm. resin kind of on top exactly. and in between? Exactly. And okay. I take a little toothpick, so I don't mm -hmm. do the pouring out of the, the actual oh. bottle because it comes out in mm -hmm. huge globs. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I take a little toothpick and I dab mm -hmm. the toothpick, and wherever you put the toothpick, the mm -hmm. resin runs right straight down the toothpick. Okay. So you can get the toothpick into little tiny crevices. So you have a lot more control that a way. A lot of control. And it would be kind of interesting if you had some colored beads behind oh, here. Definitely. You can allow it to show through a little bit. Mm -hmm. and yeah, if you wanted to add color, mm -hmm. that's really fun. Mm -hmm. And the thing too is remember, well, the resin isn't solid until it's cured. Mm -hmm. So while it's here, you can still move these you can pieces manipulate around. It. Yeah, yeah. And then this piece, um, it looks like you domed this. This is what the, to show the difference between the two types of doing these resins, mm -hmm. you know, applications. Mm -hmm. This is a very commonly used resin application with the doming so that it's nice and shiny mm -hmm. and round. What I really, really like about mm -hmm. this piece is that it's very bumpy and there's no dome on top of it. Thanks, Crystal.